God says, a new door is about to open for you. The challenges you are currently facing are about to come to an end. You are about to get a sudden rush of opportunities and dot blessings that will clear the way for you. Be patient. Trust my timing. It's about to happen. Type Amen if you believe. Dear God, you know my life, my worries, my feelings, my thoughts, my desires. You know when I cry, when I laugh, when I feel lonely. May you take care of me, protect me, be with me from dawn till dusk. May you guide my steps and make me strong and courageous to overcome the difficulties and obstacles that come my way. No matter when or where, I always need you, as I have always done. If you love God and are not ashamed of Him, comment with Amen. God, tonight I want to put every stress, worry and struggle in your hands. I know I can't do this on my own, I need you. I pray for peaceful sleep and a rested spirit. I pray I wake up refreshed knowing you've got it all taken care of. I pray you shift my perspective to see the good in everything I am facing right now. Tonight I give it all to you. You are my strong tower, my healer, my everything. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord is breathing life over the dry bones and dead things. He's opening the windows of heaven and restoring what has been lost and broken. The winds of change are about to shift things. The windows of heaven are about to pour out blessings of restoration and recompense. Get ready. What's yours shall be yours. What's broken shall be restored. What was dead shall live. Jesus, make me more like you. Please remove any behaviors or thought patterns that don't reflect your character or heart for people. Make me bold, brave, and courageous but keep me humble, kind, and gentle. Let the way I live reflect your hope and love. And when the opportunity arises, help me to share my faith with genuine joy. Amen. Dear Lord, even though there is much going on that causes us to be concerned, please fill our hearts with your joy and our day with your peace. Help us find light-hearted moments that make us laugh and smile and refresh us mentally, emotionally, and physically. Help us see past our struggles to see the beauty and blessings that surround us. When we're tempted to worry, stress, or dwell on anxious thoughts, please remind us to stop and pray and release everything to your hands. We're grateful for your faithful presence and protection and that we can ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. As those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another, and forgiving each other, whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, so must you do also. Colossians 3 colon 12 13 God is saying to you today, a new door is about to open up for you. The challenges you are currently facing are coming to an end. You're about to receive a sudden rush of opportunities and blessings that will clear the way for you. Be patient. Trust my timing. It's going to happen. Don't give up. Your breakthrough is on the way. I love you. Genesis 2 7 Then the Lord God formed man of dust from the ground, 
and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. Amen. Good health, peace and rest come upon you now. Receive divine deliverance and supernatural protection in the name of Jesus. May God deliver you from every obstacle and smoothly navigate you to your greatest victory. Receive it by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I speak a blessing over you. You will ever dwell in the goodness of God, and God's favor will follow you wherever you go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ our King, the person who sent you this wants you to remember that God is with you and will help you with whatever you're going through right now. He is moving on your behalf. God, thank you for loving me. You see me as I truly am, and you still accept me. Today, I bring all my false labels and names to you. You know what I've been called and what I've believed about myself. Please replace any false narratives with your truth that I am your child and greatly loved by you. In Jesus' name, Amen. You have no idea how much I pray for you, your health, your safety, your protection, your future, your dreams, your peace, your everything, Holy Spirit. Dear God, I come before you to ask for your deliverance and healing. Your promise in Exodus 15:26 assures me, I am the Lord who heals you. Grant me your guiding hand in my deliverance, Lord. Lead me on the path of healing and restoration. Amen. You disrespect yourself when you rekindle a relationship that humiliated you. Forgiveness is one thing but you have to have boundaries. You can't always be nice. That's how people take advantage of you. You teach people how to treat you by deciding what you will and won't accept. Hey friend. I pray with you today for God to remove every form of laziness or procrastination from your mind and body. Thus, pushing you to your full potential. Amen. Heavenly Father, help me to find joy in the everyday moments of life. As I rest tonight, fill my heart with gratitude for the small blessings, the laughter shared, and the beauty of your creation. May I wake with a renewed sense of wonder and a heart eager to embrace the simple joys of the day. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. John 16:33. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Gracious Father, thank you for the freedom found in your boundless forgiveness. As I journey through today, help me to embrace this truth and let go of any lingering guilt. May your mercy and grace define my steps. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God will answer your prayer, for he is a good and generous God. I speak wisdom over you now, that you may steward your blessing well. I speak divine discipline and authority over your life, that you may multiply your resources and see God enlarge your territory. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God, who makes things grow. 1 Corinthians 3 colon 7 I speak a blessing over the person reading this now. May the Lord keep your household secure and your family safe and well. I bless you with good health, financial abundance, and may you have a loving, generous heart. Receive peace and joy 
vision and boldness in Jesus name. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has eternal life and does not come into judgment but has passed out of death into life. John 5:24. May the Lord restore everything you lost and keep special watch over your loved ones in heaven. May you be so blessed and effective for the kingdom that it makes the devil sorry he ever messed with you at all. You are doing things you've never done because you want a life you've never had. Because you crave attracting the unknown and newness because you are tired of the same cycle replaying. You know the only way to have the new is to keep growing, healing, and creating new habits. You want to live a life that is so unfamiliar to your past, but feels so familiar to your desire and who you truly are. Exodus 6,6-8 praises God for his faithfulness you are the Lord who makes and keeps all your promises, and in you we trust. We trust you, Lord. Lord, we love you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. We love you. God's unwavering faithfulness scripture is filled with promises made by God for us to hold fast to. I needed this today, maybe you did too. Don't worry about anything, instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need, and thank him for all he has done. Philippians for colon 6.